So we 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 start uh, today. I think who we'll, not. I think who we'll actually be down the group financial uh, statement, especially on the on the balance sheet. Then we can proceed to to the income statement. My plans are that these standards, because standards have already done the recordings, they are on YouTube. I've sent you quite a number of them that I would want you to go through. Uh, some parts that you may not fully understand, you can give me a call, then we can have even a short two, three, four minutes uh, lecture. There will be a lot of work that you need to do in the next few weeks before your exam. But my plans are that once we are done with this, well, I give you all these online materials and, and, and lectures, I would want us to go to group cash flows. Once we are done with cash flows, then we can do financial analysis. Well, you do these standards. Just these three major topics, you, I can release you to the world to go and perform uh, excellently. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we move on. Now we look at other issues under group financial statements. The first thing that we're actually going to look at would be the share exchange. It is not always a, a, that, that the, the, the parent company or the would become parent company would buy the shares on cash basis. There are times that mm -hmm. the parent company would enter into a deal where he offers shares to the subsidiary. Well, I would say maybe one to four, meaning that if you get one of my shares as a parent company, I get four of your shares. Indirectly, you are giving that company that is a would be or a subsidiary, giving it a chance, an opportunity to actually own a stake in your company. But now it will be an issue of proportions. You are actually saying, okay, Sydney, you are coming to Kochkata's Academy. Uh, mm -hmm. This company, Kochkata's Academy, wants to buy shares from your company over 50 percent but the deal is this every one share i give you seeding you give coach Carter's academy four shares so i'm giving you an opportunity to be part of 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 my entity to be part of coach Carter's academy whereas i'm swallowing yeah. your subsidiary that is, an, that is one of the methods in which you can actually purchase a stake in a subsidiary company or in company B, so to say. Or it could be, it could be a situation where there is deferred consideration or a combination of the two. Deferred consideration is where you're not paying then, you are not paying now. Yes, you have entered into this transaction, but you have promised that you are going to pay after two years or after a year. Meaning that that component of deferred needs to respect time value for money. Meaning that you have to discount it today so that you make a decision today because that's when you are supposed to make a decision. Or there can be an issue of contingency consideration, but the principles are the same. So I, I don't know if you understand this, what we have already, what we have discussed. Let's chat. So far, so good. Uh, yeah, because up here you have told me that uh, there could be uh, two ways, uh, mm -hmm. sometimes a share exchange, mm -hmm. where uh, uh, the, 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 the parent company offers you one share probably for for mm -hmm. it's one way of also uh, uh, encouraging you to be part of the the, the main uh, company mm -hmm. then also deferred consideration where you have told us that uh, you are not paying immediately mm -hmm. you decide to pay at a later stage yeah but uh, it means that the same yeah. principles are still in effect mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. or 
didn't go to that issue, but it's yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, so meaning that this so it depends yeah. on how you, it depends on how you negotiate. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So, but then even when you are looking at that deferred consideration, if I say that I'm going to mm -hmm. give you at the end of the year, at the cost of say ten percent, or at the cost of seven percent. So, at the cost of of, of a hard rate of ten percent, obviously it will be about zero point maybe nine one or something like that. So. Meaning that mm -hmm. that money that I've promised, whether it's a 10,000 kwacha, that I should give you at the end of the year, you can proudly discount it today so that you make a decision. Mm -hmm. So let's... Now it's you respect the time value of money. Yes, yes, yes. So now we go to other issues, something that we have already done in our preamble, and where we are saying a parent may acquire a controlling interest in a subsidiary in other fashions as opposed to just cash payment. We have discussed this. We did actually mention that there could be one of the method, methods could be on the share of for uh, the share exchange. Okay. Yeah, where it's a share for share exchange. Secondly, we did actually mention the fair cut consideration. And thirdly, it could just be on a con contingent consideration. So let's start with the share exchange. Then maybe just before you proceed, the, I, I try, I thought maybe contingent were just the same as fair. No, but it, it, carries, it carries almost a similar principle. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's basically, it's a contingent thing. And I will explain it as we move on. Yeah. Nice. Though it's not a very common way of actually acquiring a, a shares in, in another company. But what is so common mostly is the share for share exchange and some extent deferred cash consideration. Though that one is also, of, it, it is a bit tricky. It's, it is not that common. Mm -hmm. Because you see, when you look at the share for share exchange, there is some form of sweetener that they put there, isn't it? A bit of sweet. Yeah, yeah. Attract you as a person that is selling shares in this particular entity. That as much as you are actually flooding your control to, to, to company B or company A, you indir indirectly become an equity owner of that particular company. So they are attracting you. It's just, it's just one of these techniques or tricks, maybe I would say so. They're just attracting you to, 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 to flood your shares. So the first thing obviously here would be to calculate the number of subsidiary shares acquired. So how many shares have you acquired? That would be the question. Secondly, we'll have to calculate the number of the parent shares that have been issued. How many, are, how many shares you as a parent company have you issued? Then we we'll have to calculate the value the, the, the parent shares issued. Then we record in the journal or we'll open a JV and see how the journal, how the, the double entry would actually be, be done or affected. So we have a question here. The question reads, Monde acquired 80% of the 20 million ordinary one quarter shares of Sangwa by offering a share exchange of one for every four shares acquired. Sorry, that one should have been the fair value of Monde shares is four quarter the share. So let's go to, let's go to, 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 to the whiteboard. Maybe I take a snapshot quickly. Oh, okay. Let, let me just first, let me do this. Now you can, you can get a snapshot. 
I, I was just trying to correct that component there. Mm -hmm. So we can even scribble just here. It's okay. Instead of going to the other component. Mm -hmm. So the first thing that we do, because we are told the Monde acquired 80% of 20 million ordinary shares at one quarter of Sangwa by offering a share exchange of one for every four shares. So we need to know how many shares were, 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 were acquired. So that would be 80% of 20 million, which I'm sure will give us 16 million. Mm -hmm. Right. So we'll give us 16 million. Then then now we move on. From this 16 million, what are we told? We are actually told. <laughs> We are told that uh, Monda acquired 80% of the 20 million ordinary one quarter shares of Sangwa by offering a share exchange of one for every four shares acquired. So this is what Monda did. Said, I'll give you one. You give me what? Four. You give me four. Mm -hmm. Right? So if it's the 16 million that is actually being bought, if it's the 16 million bought, how many shares is Monde giving out? So to be the 16 million divided by four shares, how much do we get? 16. Four. So, so it will be 16 million divided by four. Four. Which then now take goes to four million shares. Yes. Mm -hmm. So now with this 4 million shares, we are told, we are, we are told, we are told that the fair value of Monday's shares is how much? Four quarter per share. Four quarter per share. So times four quarter per share, it now goes to $16 million. $16 million quarter, sorry. Mm -hmm. So that is the that is the cost of the investment. So this is basically the cost of the investment. But then we need to do double entry. Is it okay up to this level? Yes, very much okay. Uh -huh. So that now becomes the cost of the investment. That is what will actually be taken in, in working three. You remember working three on goodwill. Yes. Under fair value consideration, there you're going to have that part exchange, share exchange. So we are told to prepare the journal entry to record the share issue. So what are we going to do? First thing first, we have 4 million shares at, at one quarter, which goes now into the share capital. At one quarter, we'll have 4 million quarter. Let me just go to then just open the, the whiteboard so that it becomes easier for us to internalize this. Mm -hmm. So we have found already, we have found that the cost of investment 
Filistin'i biliyorum. Hı hı. The cost of investment is 16 million. So in terms of the double entry, in terms of the double entry, we know that we are actually going to debit the investment account. I'm going to debit investment. So I'll do like this, debit here, credit there. So we are going to debit 16 million. Then we are going to credit the share capital. Of how much? We bought 4 million shares, right? Oh, yeah. it's 4 million shares per exchange. So it's 4 million times the at par value. Power value is one quarter. Yeah. So it will be 4 million shares times one quarter. Which takes us to how much? To 4 million. Then we'll have the share premium. The difference obviously will go to share premium. Yeah. Okay, get it. So share premium is basically the difference between 16 and it's 16 and 4. But obviously you would want to do it like this. You say 4 million times three quarter. Remember that from the four quarter, the value of the, the fair value of the, the shares from the parent company. One quarter out of that, there's one quarter, which is at par value. So you remove that one quarter, remain with the three quarter, which takes you to 12. So this is how your journal is going to balance. Any questions? Ah, good to go. So that is the issue on the share exchange and that is how it is supposed to be to be to be done.